Hey there, everybody. Are you looking to buy a home in San Francisco? Well, in this video, we're going to check out Pacific Heights. Now, you might already be aware of Pacific Heights as it's one of the most iconic neighborhoods in the entire city. So the whole goal of these videos is to help you get a feel for the different neighborhoods in San Francisco so you can make the best decision about what area might be the best fit for your lifestyle. But most importantly, the areas that don't fit your lifestyle as well. Because the last thing that you want to do is buy a home and then realize that the neighborhood just isn't a good fit for you. So if you're interested in learning more about the Pacific Heights neighborhood and want to learn more about what it's like living here, keep watching because we're going to cover it all in the next video. Hey everybody, what's up? This is Tony Knott, San Francisco Bay Area Realtor. So if this is your first time on this channel and you want to learn everything that there is to know about living, working, eating, sleeping, and playing in San Francisco, as well as all the different neighborhoods here, make sure to tap that subscribe button and click the little bell so you'll get notified every time we come out with a new video. You know, honestly, we get so many people that call us every day who are looking to buy or sell in the San Francisco Bay Area. And I tell you, we absolutely love it. So if you're moving, relocating, buying or selling anywhere here in the San Francisco Bay Area, give me a call or shoot me a text or email. However you want to get in touch is fine. And my team and I will make sure to take care of you throughout the entire process. And if you're interested in seeing a specific neighborhood or topic featured in another video, just drop a comment down below. All right, now let's learn all about what it's like to live in Pacific Heights. The truth is many people are already familiar with the Pacific Heights neighborhood as it's one of the most famous neighborhoods in the entire country. A lot of this is because Pacific Heights has had a starring role itself in many movies and television shows over the years. So the history of Pacific Heights can be traced back to the late 19th century when it was developed as a residential area primarily for the wealthy and elite of the city. Many of the homes were built during this period and they featured mostly the Victorian architectural styles that everyone associates with San Francisco today. Okay, so Pacific Heights is located in the northern part of San Francisco. Technically speaking, it's bordered by Venice Avenue to the east, the Presidio to the west, Green Street in the Cow Hollow neighborhood to the north, and Lower Pacific Heights in Japantown to the south. So the Pacific Heights area is known for its posh homes and breathtaking views and is considered one of the most upscale neighborhoods in the city. And let's be honest here, it's also the most expensive. You pretty much have to come from old money or be a tech titan to afford to buy here. But hey, we can all dream, right? Then, beginning in the early 1900s, and especially after the 1906 San Francisco earthquake, many of the smaller Victorians were eventually replaced by more elaborate and larger homes. These styles included Mission Revival, Chateau, and Edwardian, and some larger Victorians. Many of these homes have been beautifully preserved over the years, and they still have their original ornate details and colorful facades, which gives the neighborhood a really charming and unique character. An interesting fact that many people are not aware of is that Pacific Heights is the location of many diplomatic and consular offices, including the Consulate General of Greece, Italy, Vietnam, Germany, China, and South Korea, which are all located within a few blocks of each other. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the safety of the area. When it comes to Pacific Heights, you're getting one of the safest neighborhoods in all of San Francisco. It's a very clean and well-maintained area, and the crime rate here is extremely low. From a noise level perspective, it's also very quiet. Fillmore Street, which runs through the heart of the neighborhood, has a handful of restaurants and bars, so weekend nights can get a bit noisy, but generally speaking, it's a very peaceful and quiet neighborhood. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about recreation here in the Pacific Heights area. With a walk score of 97, Pacific Heights is truly a walker's paradise. So whether you're looking to buy here in the area or not, it's still worth checking out. It's a great place to take a stroll and just admire the classic architecture, the stunning mansions, and the sweeping views of the bay. You may have even heard of Billionaire's Row, which is a street full of some of the most expensive and luxurious homes in the entire city, and whose residents have included Gordon Getty, Daniel Steele, and Larry Ellison. And just a few blocks away are homes that many people will recognize from their favorite movies, such as Mrs. Doubtfire, which was filmed at Steiner and Broadway. I especially like to direct people to the Lion Street Stairs, which are some of the most iconic staircases in San Francisco. They have spectacular views of the entire bay, and they're super popular for people who want to get outside and get some exercise, either walking or running up and down the stairs. So when it comes to amenities in Pacific Heights, you have access to some of the best groceries, pharmacies, shopping, and restaurants in all of San Francisco. For groceries, there's Whole Foods Market. There's also a Molly Stones, as well as some smaller neighborhood grocery 
grocers, such as Mayflower Market and Avenue Fine Food Market. For pharmacies, there's actually quite a few, including Walgreens, New Sutter Pro Pharmacy, and B&B Pharmacy. These are all within a few blocks of each other. All right, so if you're looking for some outdoor activities in Pacific Heights, there's no shortage of them in this neighborhood. Uh, Presidio Park borders the Pacific Heights neighborhood, and it offers plenty of hiking trails, picnic areas, and places to explore. You could spend all day there. Pacific Heights is home also to two of San Francisco's prettiest parks. There's Lafayette Park and Alta Plaza Park. They're both great for kids. They have plenty of green space for picnicking, playgrounds, or just simply taking in the views. They also have tennis courts and dog runs as well. Alta Plaza Park is especially great for catching some beautiful views of the city. And here's a little local secret. Alta Plaza Park is one of the best spots in the city to catch the Blue Angels, which arrive every October during Fleet Week. Okay, so if you're looking for some quality dining, there are plenty of options here as well. The neighborhood, the Pacific Heights neighborhood is home to a wide variety of restaurants from casual cafes to even Michelin star restaurants. For brunch, there's Choquettes, there's Curbside Cafe and Jane on Fillmore. If you're in the mood for some classic Italian food, you could head over to Pizzeria Delfina, Via Veneto or Jackson Fillmore or Trattoria. And for something more upscale, you could try SPQR, Spruce, or Sorel. If you're looking for a great cocktail, try one of the many bars in the area, such as Harry's Bar, The Snug, or Scorpo Divino, if you're looking for a cozy wine bar. Okay, so shopping-wise, Pacific Heights is a mix of famous high-end boutiques and local specialty stores with Fillmore Street being the main drag for where you'll find most of them. You'll find options for everything from designer clothing and jewelry to home decor. And some of these include Rag and Bone, Caravane, Mud Pie for the Kiddos, and Crossroads Trading, which is a San Francisco staple for gently used clothing. Okay, so let's talk about schools in the area, which is obviously important for families moving here. Pacific Heights is home to quite a few different schools. Uh, for elementary schools, there's the Hamlin School, the San Francisco Waldorf School, and Dr. William Cobb Elementary. High schools here in Pacific Heights include Lowell High School and Sacred Heart Cathedral Prep, as well as Convent and Stuart Hall, which is a private Catholic school. There's also the prestigious Drew School, which is a private high school located on Sacramento Street. San Francisco's school system is based on a lottery style system. So if you have questions about that, feel free to reach out to me and I can provide you with some more resources and information. So if you live here in Pacific Heights, you're going to want to know what your commute is like as well. Whether you're just commuting downtown or you're going all the way down to Stanford, for example, on the peninsula or maybe over to Oakland or Berkeley. I'd say the commute for those people who live in Pacific Heights is generally pretty good. There's easy access to public transportation and major highways. If you need to jump on the, either the 101, the 280 or the 80 highways, you'll likely take Gough Street and head south. But be aware that traffic does get really backed up on that street during rush shower so you know plan your commute accordingly. Pacific Heights also has several bus lines that run through the area so it's pretty easy to get around the city no matter what direction you're headed in. You can connect to different lines from there as well whether you're headed again downtown or you're headed south of Market or even out west towards uh, Ocean Beach. And in addition there's also the California Street cable car line which goes directly downtown through Knob Hill and right into the financial district. So obviously living in Pacific Heights, it does come with some great perks, but it does have a few drawbacks as well. One of the most notable is that the neighborhood is located on one of San Francisco's steepest hills. So if you plan on venturing out of the neighborhood on foot, prepare for some grueling hikes back up the hill. So Pacific Heights is also one of the quieter neighborhoods in the city, especially when you compare it to other nearby neighborhoods such as the Mission or Hayes Valley. So if you're someone that that likes to be right where all the action is, then Pacific Heights may not be the best fit for you. Additionally, like many neighborhoods in San Francisco, parking can be a bit of a challenge here. So if you have multiple cars and not enough garage space, then that's something to keep in mind in this area. And if I'm talking about drawbacks, of course, one of the things I have to mention in Pacific Heights is the cost. Uh, this neighborhood is one of the most expensive neighborhoods in the entire city, and living here does come with a hefty price tag. All in all though, Pacific Heights is a really great neighborhood to live 
live in. It offers a perfect blend of historic charm, natural beauty, and a lot of amenities. The abundance of parks, recreational options, dining and entertainment, shopping, and a really easy commute makes it a pretty ideal place to call home. So if you're looking for a place in San Francisco to live that combines the best of the city with a sense of history and community, then Pacific Heights might be a great choice for you. All right, so in this video, we checked out the Pacific Heights neighborhood. This neighborhood is one of the most iconic and famous areas in the entire city. It's got great amenities, it's a perfect location, the weather's good, and it's got a really family-friendly atmosphere. So if you're thinking of moving to Pacific Heights or just want to learn more about this great neighborhood, feel free to reach out to me with any questions. But if this area does not seem like it's your style, it's not the right school district, or it's too far from work, that's what I'm here for to find you your ideal location so you can really enjoy living in San Francisco. The only way I can do that though is you have to reach out. Give me a call, shoot me a text, or however you wanna get in touch and I'll make sure I have your back when you're moving to San Francisco. And if you got any value out of this video, hit that like button for me or even better, comment down below what neighborhood you'd like to see featured or what information you'd like to see to help you when you're buying or selling here in the San Francisco Bay Area. Now, you're probably seeing some other videos pop up here on your screen. Click on any of those to learn everything you need to know about buying, selling, and living in San Francisco.